It's tea of pumpkin. It's tea of pumpkin. It's tea of pumpkin. What's up, my friends? It's tea of pumpkin. You are so special. I can't deny. Y'all so bougie. But super fly. Come on. Ooh, 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 ooh. Good day, good day, my beautiful pumpkin seeds. Okay, so in this video, we will be rating male celebrities, but not just any male celebrities, we will be rating white male celebrities. And um, I decided to go with white men this time because that has kind of been like the, the subject of topic, if I said that right. But um, it started off because this dude at my job, he had basically asked me, he was like, you know, like, are you attracted to white men? Because like white men, like they really tend to be attracted to me. I don't know why, but like they just do. So when he had asked me that, I was like, yeah, I'm attracted to white men. Like actually my very first crush was a white boy. My mom, she had took me and my brother, she had took us to um, the school was Pasadena Fundamental Elementary. So at that school, like it was like a lot of white people. Like it was black people too, but like it was like a lot of white people. So like my very first crush was actually a white boy and his name was Tanner. And like my grandma and like my uncle and like all of them, like they used to always like poke at me and be like, oh, like Tanner, Tanner, Tanner. Like, oh, look at little Tanner. Because like I had such a crush on Tanner. Like I thought he was so cute. He was um, he was like my, like he was like my fourth grade crush, my fourth or fifth grade crush. I thought he was so cute. So. Tanner, you probably won't even see this video, but like, if you see this video, hey, hi Tanner, if you never knew that, now you know, but um, anyways, <laughs> yes, yeah, so I will be rating white male celebrities today, so without further ado, let's get straight into it, so the first one we have is Channing Tatum, I'm going to give him a solid 10, because like, Channing Tatum, he is just like, he is just simply fine, like, Point blank and period, like, yes. Channing Tatum, he is just simply fine. So I'm gonna give Channing Tatum a solid 10. Okay, next we got Jack Harlow. Like, okay, I'm not like attracted, like, I'm not like just like attracted to him like off rip, but like he is cute though. But like, I'm not like just like off rip, like attracted to him, but he's cute. And like the other thing that like makes him cute too is like, I like his voice. I like his voice, um, especially in those the one song that he has that's like really popular right now, which is called First Class. I like his voice, so like that makes him like a little bit like more attractive, like attractive to me. And then on top of that, like he had gave UPS a shout out because he used to work for UPS, so like I thought that was like you know like I thought that was pretty cool too. So where do I rate him? I think I think I'm gonna say a 7.5. Because like I'm not just like off rip attracted to him, but like he is cute. He has a cuteness about him, and like I say, like I like his voice, like especially in the song First Class. So yeah, seven, seven point five. Okay, then next we got. I, I hope I'm saying his name right, but next we have Chris Hemsworth. I'm gonna give him. I'm gonna give him an eight. He's like. He's not Channing Tatum, but he is really, really handsome too. So I'm going to give him, I'm going to give him an eight. I don't really know too much about him though, but like, he's he's pretty attractive. Okay, next we got Justin Bieber. Justin Bieber, he he's not ugly. He's not. Well, first of all, like no one is ugly. And me like doing like rapes and stuff like this is just like entertainment. But like no one is ugly. But anyway, so yeah, Justin Bieber. He's not ugly, but like he's just not my type. Like if I was to like if I was to like date a white dude, like he he's just really like not my type of white dude, I guess. But I'm gonna say six. Yeah, I'm gonna say six. I'm gonna say six. Okay, then we have Robin Thicke. I don't know why, like I don't understand why it's so hard to rate Robin Thicke. Like I don't really, I don't, I don't know what to give Robin Thicke. Like it, I don't know. I, I just, I don't know what to give Robin Thicke. Like, like I can see, I can see, like I can see myself like dating Robin Thicke, and like he started singing to me, and he'd be like, "Lost without you," and then I'd be like, "Oh, mom, like 
Robin, um, Robin, he was saying to me, and then she's gonna be like, oh, okay, what was he saying? And I'm gonna be like, um, he was saying, lost without you. And then my mom, she's gonna be like, Tia, no, you tell him I said, he's singing, lost without God. And then I'll be like, Robin, my mom, she, she said, he'd be singing, lost without God. <laughs> and then he starts singing, lost without God. It's just gonna be too long. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. <laughs> Y'all probably think I'm crazy, I'm sorry. I just have a very like imaginative mind. I just, <laughs> I was just playing, I promise. I was really just playing. I just have a very like imaginative mind. I just, okay, let me let me focus, let me focus. I cannot believe I just made myself laugh on camera like that, but um, <laughs> what do I <laughs> What do I what do I rate Robin Thick? Uh, I mean Robin Thick is handsome, it's just I don't know, but I I would give him he's handsome, but I would he's just not like my type of white guy. But I would give Robin Thick, I would give him I would give him a six. I would give him a six. Yeah. And then we have Paul Wall. I'm not gonna rate Paul Wall, I'm just going to say no. And then last but not least, we have Machine Gun Kelly. I'm not gonna rate him either. I'm just gonna say big no. Like just no, 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 and no. Mm -mm. But anyways, I hope y'all enjoyed this video. Make sure y'all leave a comment in the comment section. And like I always say, to the loop, kaboot. <laughs>